error is, is the easiest one for me. So I can start at error and warn, and then it gets kind of murky from there. But at error levels, I like to log at error level if there's something wrong with my application. It's my job. It's my responsibility to fix it. I like to use warning level when it's not my responsibility, my job to fix it. So I'm getting bad data. Some other downstream system is misbehaving. Something that like it's useful for me to go find, but it's going to be more useful probably for somebody else than me. That's my opinion on that. Now, when you go beyond that, so like debug is really fascinating because, you know, it ends up just being sort of a, you know, the dumpster of log levels, right? Like so <laughs> everything ends up in there and it usually ends up being so verbose that people don't run with it. And if you're not running with it in most applications, in my experiences, don't have an easy way to do basically runtime changing of the log level output. Like what good is it? Right. So so they could see the argument to saying that you just log everything at sort of info and that would force you to go back through and remove log lines that aren't as useful. But you do have these cases where, I don't know, you write these log lines and instrument something in a way that's really interesting for specific cases. And you think, I could see myself hitting this again. What do I do with this? 